A land of over 1 billion people, India straddles the worlds of modernity and traditionalism. A staggering population and a vast geographical span are inherent in India. In a bid to conquer these numbers and bring efficiency to power distribution, North Delhi Power Limited was incorporated on the 1st of July 2002. It's a joint venture between Tata Power and the government of the National Capital Territory of Delhi. With a turnover of over 20 billion Indian rupees, NDPL is present in the nation's capital and it covers the North Delhi area. The challenge for NDPL was to bring in professionalism, efficiency and technology to power distribution. We desperately needed accurate records of our distribution network and that's why we invested in a GIS. NDPL's GIS spreads over a licensed area of 510 square kilometers, distributing power through a network of over 72 grids, 2,640 substations, 4,300 large capacity and 16,000 small capacity distribution transformers and 185,425 poles and pillars. Built on a large-scale land base of over 972,000 buildings covering 12 districts and 47 zones, NDPL serves power to more than a million consumers with a populace of over 4.5 million. Uh, one of the major achievements in our GS implementation had been that we could capture a huge database of 1 million consumers in a matter of only two and a half years, and that was from scratch. NDPL's integrated GIS interface enterprise management system encompasses the entire range of business processes management, capital expenditure management through the GIS, integrated with ERP, encourages paperless working and reduces field visits. The planning is done through a spatially interfaced network planning tool. The network, once planned, flows for detailed design along with a geo-referenced plan to the engineering group. The detailed engineering design is done here with the GIS Design Manager tools, integrated with the ERP modules from SAP. Geo-reference design information is then updated in the GIS and SAP simultaneously for completion and capitalization. Asset management incorporates asset creation, movement, and retirement. Capturing the life cycle in the network, geo-referencing location in the GIS integrated with ERP. For operations and maintenance groups, supervisory control and data acquisition or SCADA and the distribution management system or DMS remain updated with spatially geo-referenced network information. The GIS interface provides updated information for all maintenance activities being carried in ERP, leading to timely maintenance, execution and lower downtime. Commercial management through integrated GIS and CRM ensures faster connections, metering and collections by reducing the time taken on account of field verification, past dues identification and settlements. I can easily locate a consumer's address on field using GIS maps on PDA. At NDPL, managing change, re-engineering processes and implementing best practices with GIS was one of the most challenging tasks. All stakeholders, including suppliers, employees, customers and investors have reaped the benefits of GIS directly or indirectly. For employees, it has improved the productivity. For customers, it has provided faster and better service. And for investors, the results are apparent in a healthy return of 32% with revenue additions to the top 
and bottom line. Apart from these intangible advantages that the consumer enjoys from GI system, in financial terms, the payback period has been less than a year for NDPL.